What's up guys, this is Val Cameron from Jiraiya. Welcome to this quick overview of Studio Live Pro Dash Studio 4.6 Edition. The SLP gives you immediate beautiful lighting to any character in your scene and also gives you amazing control. So what I'm gonna do in this video is quickly showcase some of its features and also if you want more we have a really detailed PDF and loading SLP to your scene is very easy. Go to Content Library, Dash to your formats, My Library, Lights, Dreamlight, Studio Light Pro 4.6 and you got mainly two sections here. One is the presets and the other one is lights. SLP has various light types at your disposal. Uh, these are lights in various qualities and colors and they are made with the standard key back side and top positions and these relate to the standard three-point light setup uh, you got softbox that is a light made of cluster of lights again here you can choose to add them from multiple angles and then we have area light which is based on omni freakers area light the various cool effects with magic sphere and you got magic sphere 2 which has some soft shadow effects as well. You got Firelight, Firelight 2, slightly different. You got Disco Light with those ball effects. You got Ambient, Bounce Light. And also you got here the Face Surround. So all of these features are available for you here and they are heavily updated from the previous version that was made for DAS Studio 2. And as I mentioned, it blends the original or native industrial lights with Uber environment lights. So you can go ahead and add these separately. For instance, you can go ahead and add a super spotlight to your scene and choose that you want to have key from the right side. So go ahead and double click on that and instantly you have that light added to your scene. The thing is, once it's added here, you can choose to rotate it along its Y axis which makes the light orbit around your character. It's made to be that easy. Now you can have, of course, uh, individual light control here and just expand this here. And inside you find the spotlight, so you can now adjust it individually if you want that. And it automatically targets a special target object inside here that you can also move freely up and down or left and right, which adjusts the lights for you undo those features and when loaded it's, it's kind of ready to render so we just go ahead and render all right and render is now completed as you can see it adds um, spotlight lighting with soft shadowing from the right side right key light and you can go ahead and explore all these features and manually combine them together to create your own look and feel for instance, you can delete this light here and add a uh, firelight at low quality. And once added, you can move the light around and position it anywhere that shoots your scene and just click on render. Now, a firelight, a firelight is slightly more advanced than just a normal port light because it has various lights in different colors so you can you will experience all these shades of coloring going from warmer orange tones to a bit more yellowish tones all right so you can go ahead and cancel that we can remove that from our scene and we can just quickly here add for instance an area light and use just medium quality and add light blue and let's say we want to add it from from the other side so we're going to use key L, double click on that, you can see the area is here added from, from the left side. In a similar fashion, once loaded, you can take that you know object here and rotate on the y-axis and orbit around your character. So it's kind of a lighting rig. In the same manner, you can rotate on the X, rotate and hover it around in this direction. And as you can see, the area light provides a much softer lighting experience for the character. Let me cancel that. So let's uh, showcase one more of these. I'm gonna just load one called Magic Sphere 2. And I'm gonna use a medium effect. And I'm gonna choose a pattern here. These are effects that are scattered around the scene and produce 
cool looking shadows all right so again once loaded you can move that to anywhere you like it and hit render now this light is slightly different than the uh, casual magic sphere this one casts some cold shadows onto your set so it enables you to really produce stunning you know lighting effects the light itself is visible here the other version the uh, the main uh, magic sphere doesn't have any shadow effects like that you just have the main shadows and it's also not visible. All right, so let's move on to the main features of the Light Pro, which are the presets. This is really the heart of this light set. And you have five different presets and each one of them has different versions and sometimes quality settings. You have the portrait, fashion with two different versions and three quality settings. You have the pinup with uh, three versions and three quality settings. You got the horror, uh, which has two versions and three quality settings and then you have the alien now I'm gonna bring up the fashion here I'm gonna just use the low quality setting and just double click to load to see all right so once loaded you can see that you have that that scene element here and it's placed directly here on Victoria and if you now take this uh, the entire rig if you take that in parameters tab and rotate it on the, on the y-axis you can see that all the lights orbit around Victoria and you have different light types here these preset kind of use the lights we just you know covered these are spotlights area lights all the fun stuff right and they are really pre-made for you with intensities and colors and all that stuff so here you can just you know rotate if you if you need to and find a cool angle that just suits your scene you can just go a little bit closer on this and do render so the moment you add them to your scene and they are pretty much ready to render out of the box. All right, as you can see, a preset uses multiple lights to surround your character and totally, you know, light up. And they are fine-tuned in a professional manner, so it will look good every time you render. And because it's a preset, it's made of those individual lights. You can expand it here, and you see those rigs. You can just take that and orbit it around your character and adjust the lights individually if you like to you can also expand further and control the light itself individually as well so you have individual light control despite the fact that this is a pre-made preset all right so let's uh, remove this fashion and uh, load another one pinup uses a slightly softer variant you can take low b for instance double click on that and again Take that rig and rotate around the character if you, if you want to. If you want to adjust it somehow and, and add you know some cool angles to it, you're free to do that. And you just hit render. And as you can see the pinup preset is much softer, more uh, adjusted towards nude skin. Alright, and as I mentioned, you have every single feature explained in the PDF user guide. Now before leaving you, I'm just gonna showcase one quick function here. If you are loading, for instance, this Victoria model here is at 0, 0, 0, all right? And if you have a character that is standing right there, then adding presets and lights is as easy as simply double-clicking on them, right? That immediately adds and works with that character. Now you can go ahead and rotate that rig and it will just be where it's supposed to be, right? However, let's suppose you don't have a character right there in the middle. Let's remove that. And let's move our Vicky slightly to the side. She's not standing right in the center. Now, if you add a preset here or a light, for instance, just double click here, it will automatically stand at the center here, okay? So what you can do once loaded is you can take that and top view and wireframe is usually very easy to, to position. You can just grab that and make sure it's placed at the center of Victoria. So we have that solved. Let me undo this first. Another way of doing this is simply parenting that preset or light to your Victoria. So go ahead and parent that. Once added, you can select this light or preset and just zero its position. Now it's also 
exactly where your character is standing. The good thing about it is you can move your character around and the light or preset will follow your character. You can have multiple characters in your scene and an individual light set or preset for each one of them. That's it for this quick demonstration. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and have fun with your characters and I'll see you next time.